This is how you can make an advanced roll all command for your discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I would like to say if you would like to get access to source code from this video and other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining a channel membership on YouTube or a subscription over on Discord. On YouTube, if you get the super god or custom mod tier, you will get access to that source code. And over on Discord, if you get the god or custom mod tier, you will also get access to that source code. And of course, on both platforms, if you get the custom bot tier, me and my team will code you a personalized custom Discord bot. If any of this is interesting to you go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this and let's go ahead and get into the video all right so to go ahead and get started with this we can go over to moderation and we can go ahead and create roll all.js in here we can do const and we're going to get our slash command builder we can get our embed builder and we're also going to get our permissions bit field then we can do equals require and we're going to get our discord.js package then we can do module that exports and we can do equals and we're going to do data and we can say new slash command builder and we can go ahead and set a name and this is going to be roll all we can go ahead and set a description and here we can say give a role to everyone in the server and then we can go ahead and add a role option we can get option arrow function option dot set name and this is going to be role we can go ahead and set a description and we can say the role you want to give everyone and we can go ahead and set that to required so we're going to do set required as true and then we can do comma we're going to do async executes we can go ahead and pass in our interaction parameter and we can go ahead and open this up and here we're going to get const and we can get options we can get guilt and then we can go ahead and set that to our interaction then we can do const members equals guild.members.fetch and we're just going to go ahead and leave that empty then we can do const role equals options dug get string and we're going to go ahead and get our role string now one more thing we're actually going to do await don't forget that await there otherwise this won't work then we can do if and we're going to say no interaction not member dot permissions dot has we're going to go ahead and get our permissions bit field dot flags and then we can go ahead and get our administrator permission and then we can go ahead and return await interaction dot reply we can say content and we can say you don't have perms to give everyone roles and we can go ahead and make this informal just like this then we can go ahead and say else and we're going to go ahead and open that up in here we can do await interaction dot reply and we can say content basically we're just going to go ahead and defer a reply here but we're going to make this custom so we can add a loading emoji and i'm going to say giving everyone the and we can do role.name and we'll do role and then i can go ahead and say this may take some time next we can do let num equals zero this is going to be the number that is actually counting up every time we add a role to somebody so that we can get a count during and after the role is added. Then we can go ahead and set a timeout so that we don't get caught in the API. And we're going to go ahead and set that to 100 or 100 milliseconds. Then we can do members for each. In here, we can do async m and we can go ahead and open this up. We're going to do m.roles.add and we can go ahead and get our role. And then we can go ahead and just catch an error here and we're just going to go ahead and return. And after doing that, we can add one to num so we can do num plus plus like i said we're basically going to keep track of every time we add the role to a member and then we can store that in a variable so then we can update our embed so then within this for each and the timeout make sure you do it within the for each we can do const embed equals new embed builder. We can go ahead and set a color and that is going to be blue. Then we can go ahead and set a description. And here we can actually go ahead and open up an emoji bar. I'm just gonna go ahead and get a different style check mark because usually we do the green one. So we'll get a different one this time. And then we can go ahead and say num and we're gonna say members now have the, and we can do role.name. And then we can say role. We can actually go ahead and send this. So we can do await interaction.edit reply. And we can go ahead and say content and we're gonna set that to nothing. And then we can go ahead and say embeds and we can get our embed just like that all right so that's pretty much all we have to do for this entire command and system one other thing is right here we're actually going to go ahead and get the role not the string and with that we can actually go ahead and save the file and restart the bot and test this out all right so over in our discord server we can actually go ahead and test this out but before we do i want to point out that everyone has a role that is black colored so you're going to notice when it goes from black to yellow that's basically what's going to happen when the bot gives everyone the role so we can actually go ahead and run role all and we can go ahead and get the test role i made for this and so we can go ahead and send that now now as you can see here it's going to go ahead and count up every single time it gives a member a roll and pretty soon here you're going to notice that the members are going to be turning yellow and as you can see it now is complete nothing is counting up one thing that i did mess up is i did not move the yellow roll above the black roll so you're not actually going to be able to see it but every every member in here does now have that test roll as you can see so we can actually go ahead and repeat this again i'm going to go ahead and make a test roll and this time i'm just going to go ahead and put it above that roll now keep in mind there are a couple of bot roles that are below that specific role that we're trying to give meaning it should catch the error and just return so a couple of these applications will not actually have the role when we're done so we can do this again we can do roll all and we can go ahead and get test and we'll go ahead and send that 
as you can see it's going to go ahead and count up and as you can see here a lot of these members are now turning yellow and it's going to continue to count up and it's going to continue to give everyone the yellow roll and they're appearing yellow and now it is done now as you can see this bot does not have the roll and i believe a couple other ones don't have the roll as well just ones that have perms above it oh wait now it's good i guess so it was able to actually give everyone the roll it just took a little bit of time so yeah it's a very useful command i actually just used it in one of my other discord servers that just got raided and uh, the community roll got deleted and so all that stuff so i was able to use a command in here to give a thousand members a community role so that's how you can make a role all command for discord.js version 14 bot if you need any help go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be able to help you out and with that i'll see you guys in the next video